Do you have any idea how hard is it to travel in Corona time, even within a country? No, I'll show you because I'm going from Glasgow to Sheffield. They say my boy, what you telling me? Pops trying to bump me, ain't got the pedigree. We go be keep blinders on the end. I live in Scotland and after every five to six months I travel to England for holidays and for the last couple of weeks Scotland was in tier 3 restrictions. In tier 3 it's not like you can't travel at all but you can travel to level 3 areas or maybe for work or education. Scotland was about to move to the tier 4 restrictions. A strict travel ban between Scotland and the rest of the UK and I didn't want to get stuck in Scotland at all. So I booked a ticket for 21st December. Uh, I was a kind of chaotic as well. Either I'll make it or not. Uh, when I got to the Glasgow train station, there were two policemen which were standing right at the entrance of the station. So as I stepped into the train station, they started following me. I was like, oh shit, they might come in for the investigation or something. But when I stopped to see my platform number, they passed by. I was like, Shh. nice. Okay, that's A and B, and my carriage is E, I guess, which is at the very end of this train. All right, here we go. train ticket was a bit weird. I had one change so I got off the train station and to go to from one station to another I had to take Uber. So I took Uber and I got to the another train station and from here I got a train to Sheffield. Two hours later. Man dead, almost landed in Sheffield. Boys are waiting outside. They have arranged go-karting. Literally it's, I guess it's 8.50 right now and the go-karting timing is 9 p.m. So which is just like, you know, 10 minutes. So whenever I'm gonna get off the train, I'll be rushing. I'll be running. No, God, please, no, no! Nice. I'm telling you, he's a 30 go-karting driver. He always been at first. I beat every time. Think twice before you make your move. There's not a man that can step on my shoes. I still act like I got nothing to lose. And they all talk gangs until one's in the room. I can see straight through them, they're pretenders. They are not about bends on blenders. Hydraulic 10 ton pressers. They are not about loading up weapons. They are not about teaching boys lessons. Gloved up in SQ7s. Holding 38 Smith and Wessons. And how 36 used to cost 27. You better win. <laughs> At the end, you will say, like Habib, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You say, my boy, what you telling me? Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Even though I was recording the videos, but still I got second position. This go-karting experience was 100% a good experience. 
honestly and we had a good laugh as well and now the time is to subscribe if you haven't yet i mean i deserve it i'm uploading this video within two three days usually i take two three months so yeah you did it right you are legend